How's it going, Chubbard? Obviously, my name is Oblog TV, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be finally doing a sort of setup sort of video. Um, we recently hit a thousand subscribers, and I'm very, very happy and very, very thankful for all of you guys that have been supporting me. Oh, there's my hand. It's not nearly as white today. I don't, I... Okay, um, the point is, okay, is um, I'm doing a bit of like a, like a sort of, I guess, an overview of the sort of setup that I have going for me at the current moment. Um, I have numerous things over my room. It's 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 all sort of compiled. Like I've got this desk that goes all the way around. It goes all the way fucking up there as well. We've got a lot of shit over there. We'll come back to that later. But the point is, is uh, this is effectively just a sort of video to see what it's like. And you know, when I'm making videos, of course, um, I have a fat window. Like, oh look, there's people's houses. I wonder if I get in trouble for filming people's houses. Yeah, no, but the sun comes straight through there in the evening, and yeah, no, um, it's horrible, I'm blinded severely, but the point is, is this is what the setup mainly looks like, so, of course, for some of you may know, I do, main, I have mainly played on PlayStation, that, that's addressing, I'll leave, leave that out of the way, I've mainly played on PlayStation for the most of my life, and I've only recently switched over to PC, and we'll come over, come over to that bad boy in a minute, but the point is, is here it is, <sighs> yeah, um, um, yeah, they got duct tape on them, um, and that's because they work fine, even though they got duct tape. Uh, but as you see, there is a mic on this one. This is not what I actually used to record. Um, I'll come on to the actual mic in a minute, but this is what the, sort of the headset that I've used to talk to my friends for a very long time. I have a red controller because I had a black one, but then it doesn't work anymore, and so now I have a red one for some reason, because literally when I went to go get a controller... The red one was cheaper by about 50 pence, and so of course I got myself a refresher from that from like one stop or something, but the point is it's dang. Anyway, I've got like an Amazon USB thingy. <laughs> the cables are all over the place, but the point is, is um, it does make sense when I eventually sort it out. I've just sort of jammed it there because usually it's sprawled out along here. I do actually have a keyboard which I do attach to my um, PlayStation, which if I bring that down here, we've got BAM, there he is. He's awful, it's very, very mechanical, so I've never actually recorded whilst playing a game like on PC, you, except on a PS4, if that makes sense, you know, playing mouse keyboard, just because it makes so much noise, and a lot of games don't even support that, but um, yeah, I do actually have a little mouse I can plug in there, but yeah, pretty much, this is my TV, it is bare bones HD, like, I dead ass got this for like 30 quid, um, and then I stole it from my mum, so, yeah, this does 720p, like, let's just put that into context, it... <laughs> Like it's not I, I don't think I can even fit two of my hands on the screen in order to make up the height It's a very it's very small and so it's almost like a really big monitor I suppose um, But it does 720p and it's quite funny because it does HD I'm of course able to record in HD using my game capture device thing here And so the actual footage that I record is in higher quality than what I'm actually seeing it being played and I think that's quite funny, really, because when I'm playing like a game like Shadow of War, for example, which can have incredibly good graphics at times, I'm playing it on here, and I'm just like, oh, this looks okay. And then when I look at the footage, I'm like, wow, this game looks really cool. And I think that's just a bit of a big meme, really. But, um, yeah, as I've said, this is my game capture device. It's Hop Century, uh, as you see there, HD 1080. It only does 33 inches per second, but, yeah, pretty much, you have this bad boy. You plug in HDMI that goes in from the PlayStation, then it comes out through this one to there. has a... Uh, chargey sort of like thingy which goes into the mains and then it has a USB or an SD card if you plug in there press this button bam it records bam and it's done um, of course it has a few little issues if you start unplugging it plugging the USB and stuff halfway through but yeah this has been one of the better purchases I would say I got this for 60 quid on Amazon I got it on a, like a deal because of course a lot of people get like the Elgato sort of things and they can be upwards of 80 or 100 quid and they can be very expensive but this one was slightly cheaper and it's done just as well and it's actually like it's lasted literally over a year now so I would say do recommend this one um, but yeah we have all these plugs extension cable yeah blah blah and then we have the main mic that I use for my recording there's more cables there's my old one um, that one makes a bit of background noise and it doesn't really work very well with my new computer, but we'll talk about that one later. But this is the main one here, the mad boy. Um, as you see, it's got a basic microphone on a little thingy so it goes, wee, I can move it around and stuff. Um, and then, of course, there it is. So when I'm sitting in my desk and I'm looking down here, straight in, and then if I want to, like, turn it around and record on, on PC, I have to, like, turn it around and then 
rotate the mic. Ugh, it's complicated. That's clamped onto this bad boy. This one I also got on a deal. Like literally everything in my house is a deal on Amazon. Okay, let's just put that into context. This one is incredibly good. I literally got this for like 25 quid or something on Amazon. And it's able to record in, like incredibly well, provided I get the settings quite well. <laughs> quite like you have to. Yeah, it takes a while to set it up. Um, yeah, but the point is, is it works very well, so I would recommend that. But yeah, then of course we have a lamp. It's blue for some reason. I'm not sure why, but you know, L lamp um, and moth. Um, I also have a few more things up here. Just all my games that I actually have on disc. Like <laughs> who, <laughs> who even uses discs anymore? But here is the latest addition to my technology. This is, I, I, I've actually already forgotten the make of this computer, which is very, very helpful. The point is, though, is I got this on PC Specialist. Now, PC Specialist is like a website you can go on and you get it custom built. And effectively, what this is, is it's an i7 hex core computer. It has 16 gigs of RAM, and it has a 1060 um, graphics card. Uh, not 1060 Ti, I didn't want to go like 1080 because I was like, you know what, Naji. But the point is it does most things at 1080p, which is about the same sort of quality as this. And of course, I got it on a deal with you boys. Um, <laughs> and this is pretty much what I'm going to be using from now um, from now on. Of course, Fallout 76, I am planning to get it on this because most of my friends still play it on PlayStation. And so I want to play it with them on PlayStation. But then after Fallout 76, all, almost all of my games are going to be on PC, and that includes Doom Eternal, where we'll be playing it on this, and so if it looks crap, it's this thing's fault. But the point is, yeah, I have a nice little space background because I'm a bit bi I'm a bit basic. But the point is that there's lo I have loads of ton like tons of little applications on here. I have the mech shop where I keep all my stuff, but the point is, is uh, I've sort of been fiddling around with different types of like recording software, and the two that I've sort of gone to the most was NVIDIA Shadowplay, I was testing out with a bit of Skyrim earlier, and I've also been testing out OBS, um, if I can actually locate OBS, I, there it is, um, and so, I, really between them, they, they, OBS has a lot more custom, like, customability and stuff, like, um, you can set up multiple different things. You can record and stream on this, but I suppose that's the same for Shadow Play. But there was a lot more sort of settings and stuff you can fill around with on this. The only issue is, is that it's not very good um, at like recording stuff at a very high quality until you spend about 10 minutes looking up YouTube tutorials in order to get the settings correct. Like, I mean, you've got all these little bars down here. This one's freaking out because the bass microphone on this doesn't work very well. Um, and so then it has a massive padding attack, but when I'm plugging in this bad boy, I have to turn the volume up. Ugh, doesn't matter. Point is, is OBS is very good for having a lot of like customability, but it just doesn't. It literally took me like a couple of weeks to even figure out how to get like at least recording at basic level. Whereas when you're using Nvidia Shadow Play, you automatically record it at the max quality, and it's all sussed straight away. And so I think when I do start streaming, I don't. I'll have to come up with a sort of date when I can actually do that because of course stuff is quite difficult, you know, with a uh, A levels and stuff. So I'll have to sort out some. Evenings, I could probably set up a stream. I will probably stream using this. That's where I'm going with it. But yeah, not sure game it will be yet. Uh, we'll have to find out, I suppose. It's whatever you want. You never know. We could do modded Skyrim. That would be a fat meme. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the computer. That's the mic. And then um, there's the mouse. I recently got this one because my old mouse, this bad boy, <laughs> yeah, this, this is what I've been using since from like 2011. It's this is actually a pretty good mouse. It's only just started glitching out because the right click when you hold it down doesn't count as it being held down. So it like zooms in and out repeatedly if you have it on like click to zoom. It's awful. Um, pretty much when playing first person shooters, but it's lasted a very long time. You can click that down and it spins quite well. But yeah, that was pretty much what I was using before. Um, and so I upgraded from this bad boy to this bad boy. Now this one, and this is extra special because this one has little buttons on the side, um, that's pretty nifty. You can also adjust the weight on it as well, so you can, you know, customize it that way. And this goes all the way up to 16,000 DPI, and it's actually relatively cheap. Now look at this excellent bot work, <laughs> this box work, look at these fires. But as you, there, as you, as you see there, it goes to 16,400 uh, DPI, I don't know why you'd ever want to go up to that high sensitivity, but the point is, is uh, this mouse is pretty excellent. I got it on Amazon, as I said, on deal, it's very, very good. But the best part about the entire thing, arguably, is when you go on this, you can change the color. Now it's red. Now if I want to change it to pink, I kind of like the pink. It's pink. And so that's obviously the best part. That, like every, every gamer knows, okay, the colors that it flashes are the best part about the entire thing. 
But yeah, that's pretty much the technology side of things. Usually I do actually move this bad boy over here, so then I can sort of, I can talk to people on PlayStation chat and then this, but that's the more of a nuancy thing. Um, I have like loads of tons of different applications, you know, I have like Steam, I have all the other things set up on here, but when I'm doing my editing, I use a little software called Wondershare Filmora. I just realized I keep getting my finger in the way, I do apologize, I am a bit bit of an autist when it comes to camera. I'm literally doing this on an iPhone 4S. Don't 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 judge me. I don't want to be roasted too bad. But yeah, this is one to show for more. Um I was pretty much using this. Um like I pretty much used to use Windows Movie Maker. That's like oh yeah <coughs> Windows Movie Maker uh, up until this. And then effectively I've got this. Now I'm not gonna say how like how I got it. This is effectively a trial version, but one thing that everyone sort of hates is if you go onto this, for example, and you... Oh, wait, I have no resource. Oh, we'll just put a picture of Carnage in there. I don't really care. But a lot of people hate about this software is... Oh, is this. you got you got to apply to, like, a subscription thing. Of course, your boy is an absolute madman and um, doesn't do that. But... The point is, I use Windows for, for more. It has lots of good stuff on it. You know, you get little transitions, you got little filters, and they also have like a bunch of extra sort of things you can get overlays. Pretty much, when it comes to video editing, it's entirely up to you. A lot of people used to like like to use Sony Vegas, um, but effectively, as as long as your um op, like your editor has multiple layers here, so you can overlay things, then you know it's good enough to do pretty much anything on it. Um, and so yeah, this has lots of cool little layers, and it, I I got it for free. Um, whatever. There's plenty of YouTube videos on how to do that, but the point is, is there you go. Um, and yeah, pretty much that is the technology side of things. Oh, we got a little thing. Maybe we'll change it to blue. E, e. Um, yeah. There's also a love heart there with no one in it because I'm still alone. But yeah, no, moving moving down the desk, we have more sort of crap. I have all my textbooks, don't don't abuse me. But I also have Warhammer stuff. It's pretty dank so far. I got this little bad boy which we're working on. Looking friggin' look at that, look at that. Woo. Detail level one hundred, man. Look, it's pretty pretty fire. Um but yeah, actually, it's if you guys actually know anything about one forty K, you'll know the Orktober. I know it's a cringy name, don't don't worry, they're effectively coming up with new Orc models. Um and so effectively, I may actually do some videos, uh, oh, focus on this bad boy. I may do some videos, like, doing the new models. Hang on, I've got to press, see, this is the issue. It doesn't, all... like, you've got to, like, press it in order to focus it, which is annoying. There we go, look at this bad boy. Look at his hench muscles, yeah. So, there, there are going to be some more mus uh, like models that will be coming out, so I may do some videos on my, sort of, things with that. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this all goes, but yeah, um, Looking pretty dank, but yeah, <clears throat> pretty much, guys. That is my setup. It's uh, pretty underwhelming, I would say. Everything is literally on a deal from Amazon, but you know what? It gets the job done, and I suppose that's the most important moral of all: is that it doesn't matter how much money you have, you'll still be able to do something if you like memes. Um, and so, pretty much, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that fancy stuff. Um, no, we're not gonna. There we go. Um, and yeah, pretty much guys, I've so many to say, hope you enjoyed watching this video, next video I don't know what it's going to be, I've, <laughs> the Fallout 76 beta, okay, is now coming out on the 30th for PlayStation players, okay, I, it was originally going to be, it was originally announced to come out on the 10th, so, <laughs> uh, I'm slightly panicking on the inside about that, so we'll just have to see how it goes, but yeah guys, I've so many to say, hope you enjoyed watching this video, hope to see you in the next one, peace out brother.